All right, so hello guys. Um, I do apologize for the lack of uploads. Actually, I'm. It's a little after um Christmas, so um I am back. Um, and I hope everybody had a had a um great Christmas. Merry Christmas to everybody. If you do celebrate that, um. So in this video, I want to go ahead and, as promised, go over a problem where. We're actually going to be using the previous um, example that we did, and I will post a link to that in the description, um, as well as in the comments, um, for y'all to see, um, because the other example that I did was involving how to find the trigonometric integral for tan x. So if you haven't watched that, please um, do go watch it in the um on my youtube channel i will post a link in the description down below so here we have evaluate the trigonometric integral and we want to go ahead and do the integral of tan cubed x dx so um here we want to go ahead and split this up so um one thing i'm gonna say here is that if given if given um, tan to the um, tan to the n plus one of x dx, something like this, right? Um, where n is um, is even. I want to say where n is um, actually where n is, yeah, where n is even, um, basically um, split or take out a tangent, a tangent, a tangent uh, function. So basically take out a tangent and then split it into like you know, to, for it to become tan squared, etc. So I'm going to just write down the integral of tan cubed of x dx. So like I said, we're going to split it up as, and I'm going to say this is going to be the integral of tan of x times tan squared of x. So really, you know, and then dx. So really we're just you know, using, um, we're just putting in, you know, in terms of splitting it up into, you know, trig identities here. Um, so here we want to go ahead and use the, um, use the Pythagorean identity. And I believe, and it's going to be that tan squared of x is equal to secant squared of x minus 1. So um, that is what we're going to use here. Um, and so from here, if you guys give me a second. OK, guys, so like I was saying, we're going to go ahead and use this identity. So we're going to put this in, this stuff in, for, um, for this, okay? So here we're going to have that the integral of tan x, and we're going to, instead of putting times tan squared, we're going to put times the quantity secant squared of x minus 1 dx. Now, um, another, so the next thing we're going to do here, we're going to go ahead and distribute tan x, okay? So we're going to do that, so just distribute the tan of x, tan x, so then we're going to get the integral of tan of x secant squared of x minus tangent of x, and this all um, is with respect to x dx. All right, guys, so here, this is where it kind of gets a little tricky. 
Um, so any time you have, basically, when you have this going on here, right? Um, the integral of that, you need to let, you need to use u substitution. Okay, and this is where um, it, it is a little tricky. So um, we want to kind of see which one we would we would do. So I just want to make sure we understand why we use the substitution we use because I don't want to just say what it is and then have y'all not understand why. So let's look at which one of these would be the derivative for the other ones. So I want to make sure I make it in terms of u du or something like that, right? If I let u, so I'm going to let u equal to um, tan x, but if I take the derivative of tan x, so du would be, and I know that the derivative of tan x, if you do the um, quotient rule for that, it's going to be secant squared x dx. And you can kind of see how it's of that form here. It, because if I let this be u, then, you know, this part here, if I... Hold on, guys. Give me a second. Okay, so what I'm trying to say here is that if I let u equal tan x and then du be secant squared x dx, you can kind of see that it follows that formula of u du. So really, we can end up saying that this is going to be like the integral of u, and then du is tan x. I'm sorry, du was secant squared x dx, right? So we have the integral of u du, and then minus, and we know that the it's going to be minus the integral of tan x. Because remember, when we're doing the integral of, of f of x minus g of x, this is really going to be the integral of f of x dx minus the integral of g of x dx. We're just doing the kind of the, the, the subtraction property. So we know that u, the integral of u, we remember that we're going to use the power rule for this. So what we do is we're going to end up adding, so it's u to the first power, so it's we're going to add 1 on top, and then divide that by the same thing over 1 plus 1, put it over 1 plus 1, and then minus, and this is where I was saying that the integral of tan x, that's why we did it in the, in the previous video. Um, let me go ahead and see what it was, guys. Hold on. Okay, guys, so this is the integral for tan x. Again, if you're not sure how I got that, I do have a video on how to do that. That is what we're going to put in for the integral of tan x over here. And then again, it was dx like this. Um, so all in all, we, we're going to end up with, you know, it's going to be minus and it's going to be natural log of the absolute value of secant x and then plus c. But Remember that we're still going to kind of finish this off here. It's u squared over 2 plus, I'm sorry, minus uh, natural log of absolute value of secant x plus constant integration c. And then the last thing we're going to do is finally just substitute tan x back in for u. So um, it's going to be tan squared x over 2 minus the natural log of the absolute value of secant x plus the constant of integration c. And that is what the integral of tan cubed x dx will end up being. So this should be our final answer to this problem, guys. So like I said, this does require us to um, know how to do the integral of tan x. Um, so if, again, if y'all are confused on how to do that, I do have a video on that. I'm going to put it in the description um, as well as in the comments. Um, but that is going to be it for this video, guys. Um, I will probably do more on these types of problems um, in the future. But um, with that being said, I really hope this helps and thank you so much for watching. And please like, comment, and or subscribe. And if anybody has questions, let me know. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.